In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your audio issues by using one audio filter. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got Adobe Premiere Pro open here, and I've got a video of me that I recorded for uh, Honor Society that I'm involved with. And if I play the video, Hello and welcome to the National You can Society hear of the audio is really name. quiet. Even though it's hitting that magic mark of negative 12, it's still really quiet and really hard to hear. So let's see what we can do to fix that. I'm going to come over to my effects panel and I'm going to search for multi band compressor. Now, you're going to see obsolete audio effects, the multi band compressor obsolete. Don't use that one. You want the multi band compressor. Drag that on to your audio, and you will see a new setting has appeared in your effects. Multiband compressor. Click on edit, and you are brought into the edit screen. Now, this looks really confusing, really complex. We are not going to mess with 90% of this. We're only going to change two things after we set our preset. Now, we want to use the broadcast preset, and you're looking at this and thinking it's already set. Not really. For whatever reason, all this is doing is displaying the preset, not applying the preset. So to get it to actually apply the broadcast preset, just change it to whatever preset you want and then change it right back to broadcast. That will then apply the broadcast preset and you will be good to go. Now, we do want to change two things. On the limiter, we are going to go over here and change our attack to one millisecond. The reason we changed our attack is this isn't like music where we want nice smooth transitions between loud and soft and all that. We want this to adjust the audio very rapidly so that way if it's low it adjusts quickly to bring it up and if it's too loud it adjusts quickly to bring it down. So we want that very low at one millisecond. The release we do want to change this as well. Um, the default is okay, but I think that it's a little too much. We're going to change that to 250. Just be like when we attacked it at one millisecond, we want to release it just as quickly. So 250 milliseconds I find works really well. And that's it. That's all we need to change. Let's close that. And now we are ready to play this audio. But before I do that, I just want to make note. Uh, if you don't want to have to remember those settings every single time, if you right click, click save as preset, you can change the name of it, click OK, and it will save that preset for you. So really nice. If you actually notice, Justin's multi-band compressor, it's what we just did. I just have it saved as a preset so I can just drag it on real fast and not have to worry about messing with the settings every time. If you don't want to do that, and you're like, ah, oh, it's two clicks, I know, a lot of work, I've included a link to download it in the video description for your ease of use. You can just import that right into Premiere and you will be all set to go. So let's go and play this and see how this sounds. Hello and welcome to the National Society of Leadership and Success. My name is Justin Laurie and I am the president for this chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success. Now that you become a member, and you can see it sounds a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. If I turn it off, just to show you the difference of the society, you now need to become what we call an inducted member. There are four. It's peaking at about negative 24 with it off, with it on. Four steps to that. The first one is four. It's now going up and peaking about negative three, which is about where I want it to be hitting. So really easy effect. Definitely a good little trick to know. Again, it's the multi-band compressor. You can download the preset in the video description, or if you want, you can just follow along with the video and create it yourself. That's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.